It is our monthly chat with Oakville Mayor Rob Burden. And Mayor, yesterday had to be great. It was the return of the Mayor's Picnic. Now, there may have been a little raindrop dodging here and there, but overall, how was the event? Well, it was a, a wonderful event. Uh, big crowds turned out. Uh, if there was rain, I didn't notice it. There might have been a spritz, but nothing. Uh, certainly the kids and the parents and uh, from all parts of town and all walks of life and uh, all parts of the world uh, were undeterred. And uh, they had everything you could want in terms of an old fashioned picnic on the, on the lake. Now, what do you get out of an event like that? Actually getting out to, to see people, shake hands. Uh, what do you come away with? I find out what people want to talk about. And uh, I also uh, do it because um, there's a certain amount of telling the story of Oakville that I think is important to do. And we're a fast growing town, attack, attracting talent from all over the world. And they've chosen Oakville because they've heard good things about us. And uh, I want them to know our history. People, when you move to a place, you kind of want to know the story. Like, you know, what's the deal? Where did I wind up? And, you know, the whoever told you it was a great place to go, you know, you want to check. All right. Well, one of the things that is going very well in Oakville, it seems, is the fact that Oakville Transit became free for students and seniors about a month ago, the beginning of May. So we're into this about six weeks now. What's the reaction that you've heard and seen? Well, my favorite reaction is the note I got from a senior telling me that she had had her life transformed and opened up as a result of being able to get around now. We sometimes forget that uh, seniors often live on reduced incomes and, uh, and you know, mobility that the rest of us take for granted might not be there. Uh, but the ridership has just gone. I mean, the single biggest thing that we've done to fight climate change is to increase transit ridership uh, so far, uh, like gigantic numbers. And, uh, and the most interesting thing about it is every one of those trips is hypothetically uh, a trip that otherwise would have been taken by a car. And, uh, and you know, I love the sight of buses with people on them. Uh, and as we shift to more and more electric vehicles for our bus fleet, uh, I think, you know, we'll have a trifecta there of uh, training youth to that transit is cool, uh, enabling seniors to still get around and reducing uh, uh, greenhouse gases in the biggest way we can. I mean, everything else that, that we've tried has sort of worked on the margins, but this is, uh, this is a, a big chunk. So related to this, there is a survey out from the town of Oakville in which you're looking for residents to input on how to shape Oakville transit as part of the town's transportation master plan. What type of things are being looked at here? Well, the transit boils down to uh, people who don't. So I, I've always heard from people uh, there are certain neighborhoods in, in Oakville where a bus will go through and look empty because there's nobody riding through that neighborhood, even though the bus might have many people on it on other stretches of its uh, leg on other legs of its route. Uh, so we have a certain number of people going cut transit and then we have a much uh, louder and, and more widespread voice, which is uh, we want more transit and. Uh, uh, and, and this boils down to, well, how high do you want your property taxes? So that's the pressures that, that go on in how do we expand transit. Uh, there's, a, there's a way of looking at transit that it's part of the, uh, it's one of the features of the street. Like the street exists to let people move around. And if you have a car, the street is very good for you. And if you only have feet uh, with which to walk the street, you can't go as far. So by having buses run on it, uh, we make it possible for more people to use the street and to use it to greater effect. So there's a tension constantly, always, uh, between the services that people want and how much they're willing to pay for it. And uh, this consultation is one of the many ways that we use to try to get that balance right. Every four or five years, almost every plan or policy in the town gets reviewed to make sure that it's still relevant and that it's the right and pitched at the right level. 
That's exactly what I was going to ask you next. You mentioned the four or five years there and continuing to look into the future, Oakville Council has endorsed the key elements of a new strategic plan that's being developed to guide its decision making over the next four years. Now, have you seen significant changes between what's being proposed here versus what we saw last time? Well, the biggest difference is um, we used to say our vision was to be Canada's most livable town. And uh, as it now sits, the draft uh, vision uh, says to be a uh, vibrant and livable town, or perhaps it's a vibrant and livable community of communities. I, I'm, I'm not, you know, don't hold me to the which way the end of it is. The change is uh, dropping the goal to be the best and adding the uh, quality of vibrancy to the quality of livability. Um, personally, I'm sad if, uh, if we're not willing to try to be the best. I think that trying to be the best is at the core of what brings people to Oakville. Uh, you have to work really hard to be able to afford to move to Oakville and to stay here. And, uh, and so we have a community full of people who like to strive to be best. And I think they expect us uh, in their, you know, their, the, uh, the town of Oakville council and, and staff, I think they expect us to strive to be best, but we'll see. It's a council decision. Uh, uh, and, you know, for 16 or 17 years, we've had uh, this vision to be Canada's uh, most livable town. Um, I'm happy if we're still striving to be livable. Uh, and, uh, and we'll see where we go. Uh, the public have not really weighed in on uh, the difference between the two visions. And it may be that, uh, that the difference is hard to tell. We'll see. Well, we'll see. I mean, that's coming up. There's a presentation later this month and approval in July. So next time we chat, we'll probably be able to dig into that a little bit more. Appreciate your time, Mayor Burton. Thanks so much. Thank you, Jason. Great working with you.